गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन ओके वॉट वी हैड लैंड प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैड बीन लैंड दैट सोशियल ग्रुप्स एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशन to help the nursing today we are going to deals with social process what do you mean by social process we can see the pictures can you see the pictures conflicting yes conflict between them look at this this is conflict this is cooperation etc social means deals with society people how to interact between them process means step by step events every social process started with cooperation without cooperation we can't together in the groups after cooperation only other social process will become next step onwards so next is that competition the over competition ended with conflict and following other social processes students we are going to learn about these all the process everyone should be keep it your mind that this is a life every individual have been experiencing in the life different types of social events the broadly speaking there are two types of social process associative and disassociative but maximum of people like associative process you know everyone like together associate with each other but which is impossible the disassociative process within every social setting within the group so this uh, unit deals with that we have both type of social process how to manage become associative and maintain peace and development in micro as well as macro social settings I'm going to learn
First point is that study of social process is integral part of sociology. You know, every thinkers the society have been filled with these all the process. Somebody cooperating, others competition and conflict, accommodation, assimilation is we have been doing is a functional mode of interactions. Next, it is determined life, whether peaceful life or destructive life. If we have cooperative process, we can experience the peace and cooperation, harmony, development, etc. Then theories. Theories regarding social process explain about relation between social process and social development. Next, regulate the society. Every types of social process is essential. to control the society and shape the society become wealthier. Then factors of social process affect or influence health status of individuals. Students, everyone desire is that association, you know, peaceful interaction, rational relationships, but in normal society which is impossible. So if a person unable to manage the social situations, which definitely affect the health status, stress, depression may happen. But if we have to able to manage, ability to manage the social situations can enhance our health and well-being. Then in nursing concern, every nurse need deep knowledge regarding social process. to deliver the healthcare services efficiently in hospital setting as well as community setting. So this knowledge used to solve various problems in caregiving setting. Detail about meaning. Process involved for formation of groups. Example, every group formed by the process of cooperation. Definition, manner in which relations members of group brought together acquire a certain distinctive character. Keywords manner of relations. Together, brought together. For example, cooperative or 
disassociative relationships. Social interaction. You know, it's social interaction is an important concept in social process. Without interaction, we can't display the processes. Social interaction means mutual influence. Groups or individuals, one on another. Attempt to solve problems, striving towards goal. Keywords, mutual influences, one on another. Attempt to solve problems towards goals. Look at this, children are interact with each other. Play with each other. You know, nowadays social media, you know, people have been interact. by using modern technology Facebook, Twitter and other mess messengers, you know. Then types of social process or forms. First type, cooperation. Second, competition. Cooperation, nothing but collaboration. Competition means antagonism, which means combat with each other. Conflict, disagreement. Accommodation, adjustment. Assimilation, incorporation, absorption. Integration, mixing, isolation, separation. What are the associative social processes? A process can promote association, cooperation, accommodation, assimilation, and integration. Disassociative process, competition, conflict, and isolation. So which process we desire? We have everyone desire to associative process. But disassociative process as well as part of society, part of life. So everyone should be accepted and conceptualized it. I would like to some more explanation give for this, how this is a process. Process means step by step event. Students, every social group started from cooperation. You know, every group members interact with each other. Just imagine our college, you know, first one college, students, second year. Every students are together, cooperate with each other and cooperate with faculties and which means collaboration. Then after some days, competition will be start. Competition among the students, you know. For example, two students may be more intelligent or scoring maximum marks 
both of them having more combat with each other. I would like to give one example, illustration. A student A and student B. Both of them studying well. And cooperate with each other. They are friends. They are sharing the materials, notes. For example, student A, notes from student B. And after the examination, the competition will be start. The examination, student A may be win the exam and maximum mark. Student B may be getting low mark. But notes gain from the B. So what will happen? Student A combat with the student B may be the disagreement with student A. The reason is that my notes only bring all have I, I was given all idea to my friend, but I got low mark than my friend. So disagreement will be start. Conflict will become. Then up, after that accommodation. So after the friendship conflict between them, some more days, try to solve that conflict, then try to become your friends. So clear about it, what is mean by uh, conflict, how a, a person experiencing the conflict? This is only example only, this is student period as well as you may be experiencing this. Then assimilation means this try to new environment and incorporate and observe new ideas after the resolution of conflict, etc. Then following. The mainly concerning four processes have been we have been experiencing every day. So clear about it? So every group started with cooperation. Then after the cooperation, competition will become. For example, in family concern, competition between husband and wife. And other setting, occupational setting competition between doctors and nurses. So which leads to disagreement or conflict. Every conflict ended with resolution, which is called accommodation. Then coming process. Then elements of social process. Then I would like to ask one question, question for your listening. Manisha, Elena Japrin. Jafflin Shaija, can you define social process? Okay, excellent. Thank you, Jafflin Shaija. Then element of so elements of social process, first elements, sequence of events. Sequence means gradually, for example, every social process started with cooperation. Next, competition. So this sequently can happen. Then conflict. After conflict, conflict resolution. Then integration. Then cooperation. It's a sequential process. 
Second, on repetition of event. The social events repeatedly happened. Third one, relationship between the event. Every event having relationship or related with each social processes. For example, cooperation is condition of conflict. Where there are cooperation available, there where we can see competition as well as conflict. Fourth one, continuity of event. The events continuously happen, which is a life. That's why I had expressed, emphasized that the social process is a life. Every event we have been experiencing any one of the social process. Fifth one, social results. Every events or every social process ended with a result. Example, cooperation ended with peace and harmony. Conflict ended with destruction and break down the relationships. Then we are detail about cooperation. A meaning. Latin word, co plus operation, co meaning together, operative means work, operation means work. So what is mean by cooperation, work together? So, which means members of the group have been worked together. Look at this, symbols of cooperation, hand, join hand with each other, you know, protect the environment together. So these are the some symbols expressing the cooperation. Then definition. Social interaction, work together, gain common end. End means goals. You know, every group having different aim and objectives, as well as every individual having aim and desires. and work together. Then types of cooperation. A direct cooperation we can see in the family level, face-to-face -face interac interaction. In the college level concerned, in the particular, particular class, you know, every students directly cooperate with each other, with faculties, etc. Indirect cooperation, which is in secondary group level, which means informal, co uh, formal cooperation mainly, indirectly interact with each other, which is happening in the government as well as mainly in secondary groups. Then primary cooperation, as in the direct the primary cooperation concerned people in the primary group levels, in familial mainly, face to face interaction, sentiment of living, etc. Secondary cooperation in secondary group level, economic groups, political groups, 
etcetera. Then trades theory cooperation between big and small groups. For example, government cooperate with cooperation between other institutions, for example, educational institutions between big and small groups. Then role of cooperation. First role is a universal one. Students without cooperation we can't live. Is a universal phenomenon everywhere from the family level. Second, as were needs of individuals. The aim of cooperation is that try to ensure or as were they fulfill their needs. For example, in family members cooperate with each other to fulfill their fundamental needs. Third one, achievement of so science and technology. Every science, scientific achievement need cooperation. Modern technology, you know, computerization, mechanization is achieved by means of cooperation between the scientific community. Fourth one, solution of social problems. Mainly to solve problem of poverty, unemployment, illiteracy. We are nursing professionals should be thinking about healthcare issues. The healthcare problem we can solve by means of cooperative social process. Then solution of international problems. International means between the countries. For example, India and China, Pakistan and India are global issues, global warming, climate change. These are the global international problems we can solve by cooperative social process. Hence, Cooperation doing fundamental role to existence of society. Then competition, meaning competing against others. Look at this competition between two groups, talk of war. Look at this competition in this school level drawing competition, writing competitions, definition is a context to obtain something does not exist in quantities sufficient to meet demand. For example, in our college, in class, first mark only one student may be able to get, you know. But every student compared to attain the first mark. So that is a competition. We can add other aspect, to this material aspect. For example, Three, uh, two persons having only, only one material and combat for that, that only one material. But one person only got it.
that characteristics of competition inter individual struggle which means struggle between two individuals or two or more individuals to attain a particular goal or particular materials or non material factors next it is an unconscious activity everyone have been compete with each other unconsciously we don't know about we know we know about but we not aware about it we can experiment it for example one 6 month old a child give a red color ball you know red color child easily absorb that high density of this color then bring back that ball what will happen child what will do bring back the ball what will do child manisha child will be cry you know the child want that ball for play playing so the fact is that from the childhood or from the born the child the competition process have been started so everyone have been compete with each other unconsciously next one it is a universal phenomenon everywhere it is a fact a scientific phenomenon everyone having this process in familial micro setting as well as macro social setting then levels of competition first level economic competition so this economic concern the competition is a big subject different types of competition was explained by the reason is that product produced by different companies you know for example particular computer produced by a particular company and other company have been compete with the uh, between them to producing good material or good products to reach the consumers so for example monopoly competition oligopoly competition these are different types of competition available in economic level then political competition competition between two political parties for example in tamil nadu which is major party jeffrey shaija in tamil nadu which is major political party yes competition between admk and dmk you know in central government concern competition between congress and bjp so which is example for political competition third one cultural competition competition between old culture and modern culture then racial competition competition between two races black and white in india concern aryans and dravidans then fifth one social competition by means of social events for example competition for in the examinations okay competition in the families etc
then values of competition indispensable in social life students competition having worth than cooperation the reason is that without cooperation competition we can't grow just imagine in the particular class two students more compact with each other is possible to taking maximum mark both of them but in a class only would only one student only brilliant there is no competitors what will happen the existing brilliant student may be declining in their performance due to lack of competition the competition is so competition is essential is indispensable in life to growth second help to determine status which means through competition we can identify our efficiency and according to our efficiency and ability we can gain status in this society third one stimulating economy and efficiency as we have discussed that more competition can healthy competition stimulate the people and organizations improving their efficiency and performance stimulation means motivating people fourth one to enhance ego ego means reality to identify the reality of life then fifth one prevent undue concentration of power which means through competition we can for example competition in this government examination for example in government job as well as private organization organize a competitive examinations reason why to choose able person to grant power so which help to through competition identify good person and gaining power to govern the society the create respect next one so after the competition a, a person may be getting the which person become greater and others become lesser regarding their ability and efficiency so able person getting respect from the society through competition then functions of competition individuals to proper places question subida subida is yes. can you list types of competition types of competition excellent can you explain about economic competition okay subida thank you for your excellent thinking and answer thank you then functions of competition individual to proper places you know competition function to identify good the grade of the persons and their abilities according to they are maintaining the status and positioning in this society second source of motivation motivation means stimulation the competition can be motivate each individuals in the particular so groups or particular institutions 
can develop a source of development, individual growth, group development, etc. Third one, induced to progresses. Progress means development. Induce means force or motivate, stimulate the individuals as well as groups are motivated by competitions, which is essential for development and growth. Individuality development, individuality development as well as group development. Then conflict. Students, the conflict is undesirable phenomenon. Anybody would like conflict? Puja, anybody like conflict? Conflict? Yes, there is a reason why. So this is an important section. We are going to detail about the conflict is how much important for in our life. We know that the person, any conflict life, come in the life, the normal person may be distracted or experiencing stress. So this section we are going to detail about how to manage the conflict and detail about uh, how a person experiencing the conflict. So which is interesting one for every, every which is interesting for everyone and we can enjoy in conflict the situation as well. A series of disagreement meaning a definition social process individuals or groups seek their end directly challenging antagonist by violence or threat of violence. Students, every individual having a goal, you know, seeking end, end means goal. We have been work for that. Any person or any group disturb that seeking the goal which leads to disagreement between individuals or groups. I was given classic example, conflict in the classes. For example, two students studying well, one student got failed, two are friends, others uh, are low mark, one student getting the maximum marks, so next examination on, onwards, there are some disagreement between them. They do not share their notes. So this is a classic example. In the same way, every social setting, the disagreements may happen in the family level, as well as in occupational setting, and other community setting. Directly challenging. Look at this conflict between two, mainly in family level, you know, family. Next picture, disagree bet disagreement between husband and wife. Then characteristics, conscious action. Students, the competition is unconscious. Everyone we have been combat with each other, but conflict having in conscious level. Then deliberate into oppose. They plan to oppose with each other. 
to attaining their goals. Next, personal activity. Personal means individual activity. Every conflict started with individual mind. Next, conflict lack continuity means break down the relationships. Then conflict is universal phenomenon. Everywhere we can see conflict in family, in educational setting, in occupational setting, in community setting, between groups, between organizations, etc. So simple words used to memorize, conscious, deliberate, personal, lack of continuity and universal. Look at this, against, with each other. Causes of conflict. First cause, individual differences, mainly different culture, different talents, intelligence, mainly individual concerns, psychological differences and physical differences, etc. Then cultural differences, different materials use, different belief, values, norms, which leads to conflict. Fourth one, class, class of interest, which means different types of likeness. For example, in family, husband and wife, both of them two individuals, you know, they have different interest and likeness, which leads to conflict. Fourth one, social change, unpredictable changes. or undesirable changes in this society cause to conflict. Then types of conflict. Students, we had been learned that conflict in psychology. Are you remember? Sahaya Jennifer, Sahaya Jennifer, Jefflin Shaija, Jefflin. Okay. Now, students, we had been learned that, you know, this conflict in the psychology, you know. In psychology conflict, we had been learned about conflict within the mind. For example, approach to approach conflict, approach to avoidance conflict, that conflict which is in the mind. So in the sociology concern, conflict with second person. Clear about it? So detail about types of conflict we will be learn next class. So every events, every social events is part of our life. Sometimes we have been cooperate with each other, other time we have been combat with each other, then maybe we have been conflicting with each other. So this unity is very important for us, okay? Very important for us to understand about what we have been experiencing, whether cooperative or uh, associative or disassociative. So this knowledge is very useful for us to understand about and identify about self and 
how to maintain peaceful and happier lifestyle okay students thank you everyone have a wonderful day enjoy the day